Welcome to the Daisy Blue Fashion Variety Show. I am Nancy Blizzard, your host. My guest today is Anthony Hyman from Nicholas Anthony Clothing. He will surely impress you with his talents. It is all good in fashion. Hi, Anthony. I'm so glad you're on my show today. Hi, Nancy. Thank you for having me. Um, I hear you are a student at the Denver Art Institute in Colorado. Uh, yes, I uh, go part-time uh, studying fashion design. Uh, I want to know everything about fashion. Uh, so I'm following up fashion degree design with a, from a bachelor's in uh, uh, marketing from Johnston Wells University. Oh my goodness, that's very impressive. Thank you. Wow, when did you start designing clothes? Um, I have been sewing ever since I was five. Um, so my mother taught me to sew and her grandmother taught her to sew, so it's quite a lineage of sewing. When you um, start a design, do you sketch it first before you start sewing? Uh, well, sketching beforehand is kind of a new concept to me. I really listen to the fabric when I see it, and then it tells me what it wants to become, so I really love to shop for fabrics. that When I see it, it will tell me what it wants to be. Uh, I do sketch though also when I have a client and we need to communicate with each other. Sketching is a great way. I love watercolors. It gives me a great variety of any color and uh, easy flowing movement. That, that's awesome. That's so wonderful. Well, I'm very anxious. I would love to take a look at a piece of your collection. Yes. So the first one we have is uh, a dress worn by Miss Ashley Fonda um, and oh, wow yes. Ashley Fonda yes and so she's very uh, uh, takes very a lot of care of her gown so it's nice of her to have allow us to have one on today um, and so uh, our model is Janelle and she is wearing a this dress and so this is a na uh, naked wedding gown and so it's intentionally to be sheer and with the feathers on top and the uh, lace applique that we cut out and then the crystals are, uh, Schwartzy crystals are added on top. And uh, it's funny, Nancy, this dress uh, started off as white and when Miss Fonda got it, she said, I don't want a white dress. And so uh, over the phone, I helped her and instructed her and she dyed it. So it was initially, <laughs> meant to be a nude color, a tan, uh, but then the fabric did not react well with the dye. Oh and so we came dear. out with more of a blue silver. And then the top was, uh, we have the nude in the feathers. And uh, another, this is all recycled materials as well. Um, so as we go through, I'll show you more of how I utilize recycling uh, in throughout all of my outfits. That makes your, out, your collection so unique. Thank you. Very unique. Yeah, I like to give, it gives a life. It gives a life to the garments that uh, using new materials doesn't. Yes. So, yeah. And maybe we could just see the back, Janelle. Look at what, it, look at the sparkling. It's, it, it's a beautiful sparkling dress. I love it. Thank you, a little bling is always Oh, always is good. Always good. Yeah. Yes. So, and I love trains as well. So you'll see uh, a lot of the dresses 
having trains on them. I love trains. Mm -hmm. That just that adds so much to the dress. It just makes just flowing so well on her and looking beautiful. I love the feathers. Yes, I know the feathers are. Uh, one media source said that this dress was what Lady Gaga would wear <laughs> if she was wearing bubbles and and uh, bubble gum and uh, bubbles and clouds. So. It's fun. It's a pleasure having an Ashley Fonda dress on my show. Yes, thank you. It's nice of her to have us. And we actually have another one to show you as well. Yes, I love to recycle in my fashion. And it's something that in the environment of uh, the thrift store, you learn a lot. Uh, uh, you see new things all the time. And you see them in a way that you wouldn't imagine them. So. Uh, okay, and the next one we have uh, Chantel in, and this is another dress worn by Miss Fonda. And we were initially working on building her brand, her self brand. Mm -hmm. And so this is going along the lines of a nude, another nude gown. So uh, all the lace again, we have, it's all hand cut out and hand applique on to the gown. Uh, and then uh, with, it's made of a lightweight wool and then it flaring down to the horsehair hem on the bottoms here. Um, and then going all the way on the bottom, we have the flounced ruffles uh, in copper. And this is another material that is uh, from the thrift stores as I love to find it. So oh my goodness. whether it be curtains or uh, fabric that's in the, in the bins, or I've even used prom dresses. I love to use the beading, you know, because that's a lot of handwork that it only gets worn once. So to reutilize it is always great. You're, you're very environmentally conscious when it comes to fashion. I'd like to hear more about that. Yes. Uh, well, I began designing, like I said, in high school. And when I attended Johnson Wales University in North Miami, Florida, I started working with a designer and she used only recycled materials. So working with her, I had to use them. So I thought of a process that in my own mind, how could I use these materials that I really don't want to be using? and make them into something that I love. If I take a dress and take it apart, uh, then I was like, can save the zippers and all the findings on them. If I buy a dress and I'm gonna use the fabric, I the first thing I do is cut it into pieces. To free my mind from what it was, I um, cut it up and then I start from there. Um, to see what it's going to be. So, and I, anything, I, I'm not opposed to using any kind of material. I've used tarps. Um, I've used uh, recycled uh, vinyl street coasters. Um, and I've used sh like shower curtains and, and curtains. Actually, with the amount of uh, a fast fashion that already exists, it seems pointless to produce more fashion and rather than just reuse what we already have, use our resources smartly. I think that's wonderful. I just don't, I think most people don't realize mm. that you know, they think that mostly like cans and plastic, you know, are, are hard on the environment, but they don't realize that fashion is hard on the environment. Can you talk a little bit about that also? Um, yeah, um, fashion is one of the most uh, environmentally negative industries uh, because with dyes and uh, synthetic fiber productions, uh, also with manufacturing, uh, it's not the best industry, it's one of the worst, and also because of with the rise of fast fashion where clothes are made very quickly to sell very quickly and are made poorly, you know, so we're not using our resources in a positive way because we're using 
materials such as polyester, which is the same thing as a water bottle. Wow. And okay. making them quickly and exploiting the way that the labor is done and then just throwing them away. And so polyester clothing exists in the environment the same amount of time as a water bottle does that you put into the landfill. So instead of uh, going and buying fabrics from the thrift store, completes that kind of uh, recycling triangle because uh, you're saving it twice in my, in my own perspective. You're, you're saving it once because the people put it into the thrift store rather than throwing it in the garbage. And then I save it again by then making it into something new and doing high fashion out of it, something that's not expected. I, I just love your, your views on, and your passion for the environment and what you created with used fabric and materials from thrift stores is amazing what you've done. In the early 1900s, you would have only one or two dresses and so it, the material and the quality and the construction was much higher. The concept in the 1940s and 50s uh, where they said mend and make do instead of buying new clothes when you had to ration, yes. you had to mend your clothes rather than go and buy new. Have you been in any local fashion shows here in Denver? Uh, it, yeah, I have and I'm getting more into the scene. I showed a collection at uh, Colorado Fashion Week in the fall of uh, 2013, and I showed 35 looks there. It was in the Oxford wow. Hotel. Um, it was all my theme. I, you know, I loved it. I loved <laughs> Edwardian and the Titanic. I always have a kind of extraterrestrial undertone, so I love the juxtaposition of that specific show. Um, and then I've been helping peers out in the last couple of years. Their shows, helping them, you know, backstage with hair and makeup. I grew up in Wyoming, and so uh, for a few years I was living back in Wyoming and uh, really started what now they have as their fashion scene. So we would do a show uh, called Show Your Style. With our Institute of Colorado, we have the opportunity to show uh, some pieces uh, with the Urban Night Show. Wonderful. Yes. So That's a great show. Yes, I heard many great things about it. Well, let's take an, a look at another piece of your collection. Yes. Here comes Janelle. This is a piece from my most recent collection that I call Depths of No Return. And so it is based upon the concept of is this earth or some place far more unimaginable. And so I initially show, shot this collection in Hell's Half Acre in uh, Natrona County, Wyoming, which is where they filmed Starship Troopers. And so um, it's a quite the landscape. And I was inspired because it's, it's in a kind of bowl. It's a, it's, um, and it's great structure, natural, natural structures. And so we shot the, one of this dress here specifically, and it was just a great juxtaposition of something that you wouldn't imagine to be out in such a rugged landscape. Yes. Um, and this, this type of dress in a very rugged landscape, which is kind of almost out of place. Is yes. That what you're trying to say is yes. Are you do you um, you'll be designing some clothes for any type of fantasy or type of? Well, I love a fan. I love to put. I design in fantasy mm -hmm. for my own style. Okay. Um. So I have a very extraterrestrial. I love for everything to look rather uh, odd, and I love the big shapes. So we have. This here uh, is a detachable onto the Spencer. And so oh. I always imagine my gowns, say, running in the forest or uh, in the desert. So these gowns are really meant to be worn. Um, there's just not just to an event, but 
um, to go gallivant on the somewhere in nature. So, yes, and so then this is all recycled as well. Oh um, my goodness. I was lucky enough to find enough fabric twice uh, to make this, uh, the billow here, um, and then the skirt and uh, the dress. This is two pieces. Uh, the dispenser here and then the dr uh, dress underneath. And so this top here, the dispenser was made of uh, upholstery fabric samples um, that oh, I had great. gotten. And then the destruction is kind of my version of beadwork. Um, so it's time consuming and wow. it's just something that is like, a, again, I love the juxtaposition of something so fit and so fancy with this other part that's destroyed, I th it really brings uh, reality into the whole collection. And then under here we have also the uh, ruffles we have underneath. Uh, this is all hand dyed, uh, oh. so I'll find a white cotton material um, and then uh, hand dye it to be the specific and exact color that I want it to be. So, This yes. is so shimmery, and that the, the beautiful. I love the shimmery color. That's yes, beautiful. I try to incorporate the iridescence into all of this and uh, really make it somewhere. It was about, it's the depths of no return is about, oh, it's about mermaids but it's also that they live in the, the harsh landscape, you know, and it's to bring awareness to, with our uh, current environmental situation. Yes. Um, and to say that if we're not careful, we could ruin what is so beautiful. Yeah, our, you our know. planet Earth, yes. our beautiful Earth yep. that we have, it's a gift. Yeah, yes, and that's why I say, is this Earth or somewhere far more unimaginable because is it Earth? Is this what we've done to it? Mm -hmm. um, yes. or, are, or is it somewhere else? So, you know, like with the fantasy, yeah. you can start, it allows the, the audience or the consumer to kind of put themselves in this story. Thank I you. I love yes, it. Thank you, Janelle. Thank you, Janelle. Here is from, it's an older look. Uh, but I, f I loved it and I wanted to show oh, it. It's pretty. And so this one specifically I showed in 2013 at Colorado Fashion Week. And then I wanted to really bring in the Edwardian inspiration. So we have the, the cuffs here um, for the shirt and then you can see the shirt above and then with the kind of nude look as well. And now also the corseting bringing the corseting to the outside um, okay. rather than hiding it. So that's, we have the, I love to do the belt and I all. I like that. Yes, and a lot of my dresses I, like I build in a lot of structure. And so a lot of times I make the structure, but then you, I hide it. And so for this <laughs> one, I was, I wanted to really bring and show the structure. I love that. And, and then right here we have, uh, it is detachable. So you could take the skirt off and wear the skirt with something else, or you could wear it high, you just whatever your imagination would allow. And then the top here uh, part could be worn also, oh, it's beautiful. you know, to the club or uh, in a casual lunch. I, I really think hard about my looks and try to make them as, as versatile as possible. So if you're going to invest in uh, one of these looks, it's something that can be worn many different ways. Um, so if this top is separate from the bottom, mm -hmm. or the, this one we have the jacket and we have the skirt and we have the- I love the, the skirt. Oh, I love yes. the whole outfit. Yes, and then this one also we have la, oh the wow. train and all the layers of the, the chiffon. Oh and, my gosh. Um, this one, I, again, I really ins was inspired by Edwardian style fashion and uh, again, this is all recycled material. <laughs> so um, it, I just would go and collect white chiffon curtains for probably, I don't, it was months. And then 
the lace here it is a tablecloth or uh, a, you know some lace that was just someone loved once before. <laughs> and now it's reborn into an outfit. Yes. A beautiful, you know, if it's, yes. And I just love that. It's just so beautiful. Yes, I love all the layers. I and do then, too. Yeah, and I love to put the horsehair braid into the hems. I love structure and tailoring, and so that's just one more way that I can really bring that aesthetic into the clothing. I like that. Beautiful, absolutely beautiful. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, thank you. While I was living in Wyoming, we had the opportunity to be on a cover of a Live Well Wyoming, which is a statewide distributed uh, periodical. And this was uh, also a good example of fabric that was given to me. Uh, and lady gave me the purple brocade and the purple organza. And she had made prom dresses for her daughter who loved purple and so thought that I could make something great out of it. And you did. Yes, thank you. That one was fun. I heard you have won some awards too. Uh, yes, I have. Well, I've done a lot of, I've won a lot of awards. Uh, in, when I was going in Johnson, Wales, uh, my, one of my instructors was very adamant that I was in um, DECA. Um, it's, it's, a, it's a kind of organization to help business uh, students develop into leaders. And so I did design presentation there and I, I won the international competition uh, one year and the Florida competition a couple times. Um, and then in 2011, when I was in South Florida, I worked with another designer that was, that we did all recycled materials and we showed at Miami Beach International Fashion Week and we won uh, the Designer's Choice Award. The red jacket, which is made of 100% recycled materials, including leather. Uh, the black short cocktail is actually a jacket that is made of a screening. Oh gosh. Oh yes. My gosh. Yeah. And then we have then the white jacket and the cage skirt. Uh, that jacket is actually made of uh, a sail from a sailboat. So here's a great shots of me working. Uh, this was uh, from a few years ago in 2013 when I was preparing to do Colorado Fashion Week and we did a collection uh, shots. So like you would see in a catalog. So we took all the looks and uh, Megan the model that day put on probably 30 different looks and we just shot them and shot them and shot them. Uh, you can see this one's the finished product on my website, uh, which is nicholasanthonyclothing.com. So that's exciting to be, to win an award for Mission Wear. Yes. That had to have been very exciting. Yes, it was. Wow. Yeah, a great networking as well. Uh, you know, in fashion, it's all about who you know. Mm -hmm. And when you first start, you want to believe that's not true. But it is, it's important to go to shows and go to the help your peers, help yes. other people that are in this group with you, you know, and because it turns into a small, as you know, it's, yes. to, it's a small, it's a tight knit community in fashion here, especially in Denver. Yes, it you is. You know, and we all kind of run into each other. We do. And we all know each other and work with each other. So, so yeah, it's all, all about inter, uh, networking. Yes, it's getting so. out and meeting people. Yes. And getting to know other people in the fashion industry. I think we're a very small but strong group here in Denver. Yes. I think people would be very surprised at how many fashion shows there are in yes. Denver. Well, and you know, um, uh, one interesting fact I learned recently about Denver is that um, when they were developing the city, they wanted it to be uh, the Paris on the Platte. Oh gosh. So with the whole, with Civic Center Park wow. and how all the architecture. 
So when people say to me, well, why are you in Denver? You know, why don't you go to uh -huh. New York? You know, it's, well, this is what the city is meant to be. We're supposed to yes. support art and culture, you know, and with the race to be a world-class city, you know, all world-class cities uh, have live music and art and performing arts, but they also have fashion yes. and they value fashion. And so it's a, we're working on uh, all of us in a group and me, that's my mission is to, you know, bring a viable economy to the fashion industry here in Denver. You're making so. a contribution, that's for yes. sure. Yes, well thank you, it's you fun. You certainly are, with your designs and your collections, you are making a contribution here in Denver. Well thank you, I enjoy doing it. Yes, yeah, I mean, it's just amazing. And we're gonna see something else in your collection yes. right now. Here comes Janelle. So this one is all nearly 100% recycled. Uh, so the skirt is made of a linen, and someone had gifted that to me. And the reason why I, it's wrinkled is because uh, I m enhanced that, but when the person gave it to me, it was wrinkled already. And that was what had inspired me most about it, that material. And then the top here is all uh, strips of material. So I took the strips and made all these strips and then sewed them back on very methodically. Um, and then what's fun about this dress, as in with Miss Fonda's naked wedding gown, is that uh, I hand dyed it um, and then we did a reverse ombre. Uh, so typically you see the ombre coming from the bottom on top and this time I did it from the dark on top to bottom, which was quite the feat because uh, it all had to be dyed upside down. Um, so that, especially to get the sleeves to be lighter on the top than on the bottom. And uh, so this one is great. We just showed this one recently at the Art Institute student show oh, okay. um, Spectrum. And, and so it's really inspired by n nature and the, uh, you know, outer space and uh, galaxies and so and it did like I stated before it started off white and when you dye things it's scary because you never know what's gonna happen um, and so it was you never know and that's one of the best things about it and so one of the things about a lot of my garments is that I also include zippers on the sleeves. Oh my goodness. So that you can. Uh, you surprised me. <laughs> I wasn't expecting that at yeah. all. Wow. Yeah, so uh, one of the biggest reasons I do, I, it's kind of a, I love James Bond. I grew up with James Bond. My dad loved that. And so the, why I put the sleeves, the zippers in the sleeves is so that even though she's fabulous, if she needs to protect herself, she is not limited. So <laughs> that's why I do that. And so she can just swip, or you can do a different look. Maybe you prefer that look versus the other look and then on the back is great uh, because I love to cover um, I love to cover uh, the whole body um, because I find it a canvas so I love to do the sleeves I love to do the neck um, but then I love to add a little bit of uh, skin as well to oh, have a little nice. bit of appeal uh, right so instead of just covering oh, everything that. up so oh yeah the back the back looks when the back looks great Yes, and I, I'm loving doing the, the shoulders. Yes, um, the shoulders are wonderful. I'm loving doing that. And, you know, I love the peplum here, which is the little skirt attaching onto the bodice. Uh, it's just flattering for a lot of different figures um, and older women yes. um, that might be conscious of their body. You know, and as a designer, my job is to just make you look your best and feel your yes. best. And I found that the peplum magically does that. So it's fun. Oh, I think that's beautiful. Yes. That is, that is really, really, really nice. Thank you. Oh, Ashley Fonda looks beautiful in those pictures. Those, they, those are awesome. I love those dresses. Yes, yeah, so she really loves, uh, she's not shy with showing her body. So it was perfect that we did the see-through gown and then in the tan gown, on the red carpet, we were able to really uh, balance the lace with her henna work. 
And so this is the outfit that I made that won the Fashion Group International Scholarship. We were really inspired. The model and I really worked together on this look, the uh, Bodies Works vinyl posters as well, on the peplum that you see again. Yes. And uh, also on the skirt as well, which was uh, floor length. Yeah, and uh, this is a great example of how we all work in a team, uh, makeup artists, model, designer, and hair artist. Uh, it's a collaboration. And without one of them, we really can't have our entire vision seen. Uh, so my concept with this, this is 100% recycled. Again, the dress is. And uh, I hand dyed, so it started off white and then I dyed it and then this is what we got. Again, my destruction, this is a relatively newer uh, dress. So uh, the destruction will kind of start to take shape as it, we kind of you know, do things with it, take it to shows and whatnot. Uh, and pockets, I put pockets, everything I feel needs pockets. Even the top portion is what we call uh, the sleeve harness. And so this is a new addition so that you can, uh, you don't have to commit necessarily to this crazy outfit. You can have the gown or you can have the top. Uh, like this one, we can be worn with jeans and a oh, uh, tank okay. top, or it could be worn with something that we've seen previously on the show as well. And then I calling, uh, for this collection, we're calling the uh, this specific textile faux dinosaur feather oh. um, so we're going with new scientific discoveries we like to push the boundaries I like so instead that of saying we're at fur we're faux dinosaur feathers oh, I like fur so it's fun yes it is it's very a fun, fun outfit such a interesting I do when you make the outfit you know to have all that inner structure in it but you just hide it so I really wanted to highlight that aspect of it it's instruction on the back too. I hadn't seen that. Yes. Nice. Really yes. nice. That's Wonderful. a great dress. Yes. I would love to see my garments and on the silver screen. You know, I just love my models in fashion. You know, our models are so important. You know, we can't do anything without them. That is awesome. Those are some beautiful dresses you well, thank have. You. you must be very proud of yes. what you've created. Oh, yes. And, and just your passion for the environment is, is, is just absolutely wonderful. Oh, thank you. I'm sure the audience is probably very impressed as much as I am. Thank you. Of how you feel about the earth. It's, yes. It's, uh, it's really wonderful. Yes. It's been such a pleasure having you on my show. Well, thank you for having me. It's been a, a pleasure talking to you. Um, thank you so much, and um, please, I, I hope I hope everybody makes it out to Urban Nights on the 26th. Yes, thank you. Thank you for watching the Daisy Blue Fashion Variety Show here at Denver Open Media. Have a happy fashion day.